Hello everyone, this is the Archfiend. And I'm sure you guys have noticed after 9-11 that a number of people start wearing these hats that'll say like NYPD or FDNY or a shirt or put a sticker on your car or a magnet or whatever the case may be that basically is honoring the hundreds of civil service workers that work for the New York or Washington DC uh, fire departments, police departments, stuff of that nature, that basically died doing their job. Now, I've been kind of critical that of people that have just had a total attitude change of like, oh, just they had no idea how brave firemen and policemen were to run into what was at the time a literal burning building. And I'm always like, what are you talking about? Policemen and firemen have been running into proverbial and literal burning buildings years before 9-11 and will do so years after. That is part of their job. Now granted, nothing has been on the grand scale as much as September 11th uh, as far as the number of lives lost in one single event. Uh, nothing that I can think of in American history. And it just kind of changed everyone's attitude and it really shouldn't have took an event like that for people to realize that these people that basically sign up to work a civil service sector job that they know and any given day their life can be put in danger and it's an occupational hazard that death is a reality on any given day now I appreciate that people are out there willing to save my life in a time of danger or put themselves on the line to stop potential danger from coming my way on a just basic municipal level and I've always been appreciative of that, and I've always been willing to honor that, but some people feel that it should be honored a bit more since 9-11, and I can understand that. And one of those specific events happened on September 11th, 2011, yesterday, I'm filming this video on Monday, uh, just yesterday, Sunday, the New York Mets had a baseball game, and they wanted to honor, and it was at New York, should clarify that. Uh, obviously, we know that is one of the cities that was attacked on September 11th. They wanted to honor the civil service workers, such as the fire department and the police department of New York, by wearing hats during the game that said FDNY or NYPD. Now, I think that's all well and good. It's deserved. And why not honor the civil service workers that put their lives on the line at any given chance, especially on the 10-year anniversary where hundreds of them died. Major League Baseball came out and said, um, you can't do that. Joe Torre, who is the acting executive at the time, for some reason Bud Selig didn't issue this edict, this decree, I'll use, I'll use like royalty terms because Bud Selig acts like he's in a little kingdom that's like his own little monarchy that can't be touched by any other entity. Um, he had Joe Torrey come out, who was the exe acting executive at the time, uh, come out and say, um, well, the Mets can't wear these hats because the issue isn't so much that they're honoring the tragic victims of the civil service workers that day. It's that their uniforms won't be in sync. In other words, they won't be uniform, for lack of a better term. And one of the main issues was that some of the players were going to wear an FDNY hat, some of the players were going to wear a NYPD hat, and so things wouldn't match up correctly. And I was like, well, I don't see what the big issue is. The All-Star game doesn't seem to have a problem with everyone wearing a different uniform, unless, of course, you're playing with someone that's on the same team that made the All-Star team. But anyways, you get my point. Um, if that was really the issue, and Joe Torre, who is the coach of the New York Yankees, who knows full well what it is to be in the center of something that happened weeks after September 11th, when he was coaching in the World Series against the Arizona Diamondbacks in a phenomenal World Series, I know I watched every single game and I didn't really have a particular interest in either team at the time. It was just something to slip into that reality and slip out of the reality of the harshness and cruelty that was in the world around us. Anyway, Joe Torrey was in the center of that. So he knows full well what it is to be in the center of that and just basically, 
be in the middle of something that just relieves the tension in this country, even if it's just a little bit for a few hours on a given night. So Joe Torrey said, no, we can't do that because, you know, the uniforms won't be in sync. And if that was the case, why didn't Joe Torrey just say, all right, well, the Mets can do that because obviously we have no problem with them honoring the fallen victims of the civil service workers that day. Um, just choose which one specific hat you're going to use and they all wear the same hats. No, that's not what they said. They said, you flat out cannot do this. There is a strict protocol, strict protocol for uniforms. You have to follow by that. Major League Baseball, can you really stop just shoveling the shit out onto the front lawn? Who cares if the New York Mets want to wear a different hat that you do not deem acceptable for the time being? They are playing in the city for the city in which was attacked 10 years ago that just simply is showing some respect for the people that were running in, like I said, to that literal burning building to save lives and literally drop, die trying to do so. Major League Baseball has a problem with that. And it's a shame because this story right now is really getting swept just under the rug because the start of the football season is all the talk right now. There's big pennant races in baseball. No one's really talking about this, even though this is one of the biggest knucklehead decisions, in my opinion, that baseball has ever made. And the funny thing about this is, is I kind of split the blame here. Um, half of the blame should go on baseball for making this knucklehead decision. But you know where the other half of the blame goes to? the New York Mets for being some of the biggest bunch of pussies that ever stepped onto a baseball field. Now, why am I saying that? For the simple fact that they didn't just put on those goddamn hats and go on the field anyway. What would have happened? What seriously would have happened if they put on those hats on Sunday and took to the field? Would Bud Selig have called up the baseball cops? Would they have rounded all the Mets into the middle of the baseball diamond at gunpoint and said, put on your New York baseball hats or else we're going to shoot you? Who would have cared? I know everyone's like, well, the, the authority and the top ranking man put forth their rules and you have to follow by them. It's not a good example to show people to stand up to authority and not do what your boss says. Eat me. That's what I have to say. Put the hats on. Stop being such pussies. Like, is this the pussification of America? Is this where we are 10 years ago? Or 10 years from now? 10 years from 9-11? Jesus Christ, I'm going to get it right here eventually. Because 10 years ago is actually something I want to get to. Did you know the New York Mets wanted to do the same thing in 2001? They wanted to wear NYPD, or I think it was, actually it was NY uh, Fire Department hats. And do you know what happened? Bud Selig said, absolutely not. Wear your proper uniforms, wear your proper hats, and that is what it's going to be. Do you know what the Mets did? They wore those fire department hats and took to the field and said, Bud Selig, kiss my ass. We are going to do this. Ten years later, okay, we'll do what you say, master. We'll take to the field wearing our New York Met hats. What a bunch of pussies. Like I said, the blame goes on two specific parties here. Major League Baseball and the Mets. How could they just not take to the field wearing those hats? That just, that just blows my mind. Now, I mean, and again, I know, I'm a Philadelphia Phillies fan. Obviously, I'm harping on a Mets team. You're going to be like, oh, we're just player hating on the Mets, calling them pussies. No. I would have said this about the Phillies if they wanted to do the same thing about a tragedy, the equivalent of 9-11 that happened in Philadelphia. If such thing happened and they wanted to honor the fire department of Philadelphia, I would have said the same thing if the Phillies didn't take to the field and do that. The Mets didn't. They wore their hats. They bowed to the master. They kowtowed to the man. And that is where we are 10 years after 9-11. Yes, we'll just stick by and abide by what the top authority says, even if what the authority says is totally asinine and by the group of people disobeying it changes absolutely nothing. 
no one in their right mind would have criticized the Mets for saying, oh, how could they, how could they disobey their boss? Their boss told them to wear a hat that wasn't the hat they're wearing, and yet they're wearing that other hat. How dare they? Who do they think they are? Unbelievable. This is where we are in America right now. Jesus Christ, why didn't they wear those goddamn FDNY or fire department hats, whichever ones they were going to wear? Why didn't they just do it? I just, I can't believe that. That just, that just, when I read that story this morning, that just bugged the shit out of me. And it bugged the shit out of me that, that, that Major League Baseball just didn't just say, all right, well, you, you disobeyed us in 2001, you're probably just going to do it again. But no, Major League Baseball stuck to their guns and said, nah, we don't want you doing it again. And now they did it. Because, <laughs> like, baseball is this great, super respectable pastime that they want to paint themselves as. Let's not go over how the number of home runs have dropped off in the past few years. What has happened in the past few years? Oh, that's right. Steroid testing came about. Ah, that's right. That, you just don't worry. Just sweep all your little dirty secrets under the rug there, baseball. We're not, we're not going to point out the fact that your players have been cheating for a number of years, winning championships, MVPs, and everything in between. But that's okay. Baseball is real respectable. we got to keep the uniforms absolutely uniform. we got to follow the rules. <laughs> Everyone, listen to everything your parents tell you. Don't ever disobey them. Even if what they say is completely asinine, even if you do, what they tell you not to do changes absolutely nothing, hurts no one, and just simply just comes out in the end of things to be a totally respectable act. Which is what would have happened if the Mets wore those hats. Everyone would have said, oh, that was really nice of them to show respect to the number of people that have died that day. Unbelievable. Died that day in 9-11, my God, and they wanted to honor them. And baseball said no, and the Mets just went, okay, I guess we shouldn't do that. Bad idea. <sighs> Unbelievable. What is this country turning into? Where is it going? More shit like this just going to happen? My God. Soon they'll, they'll ban American flags at the stadiums. All right, it won't go that far. That's an extreme example, but still. Ah, that's pretty much everything I want to say about this. I've drunk this on long enough. I'm going to go pump some iron at the gym. I don't know why I felt like adding that, because that's my plan for the evening. So I'm going to go to the gym. That is all.